And good morning, Math Wizards of Virtual Room 502. Welcome to yet another edition of Mr. Legacy Eureka Math in the Morning. I'm using a different problem set than you are, so I'm not sure what page this might be. But you're looking for a lesson one problem set. Grade three, module four. So I think it's page one. No guarantees, though. And today's date is 02-03-2021. And what's our uh, number one say? You know, pause if you need to, of course. It says use triangle uh, pattern blocks. We're just going to use our regular triangles. To cover each shape below, draw lines to uh, show where the triangles meet, then write how many triangles, patterns it takes to cover each shape. So we're talking triangles, that's three corners, three sides. Look at that, there is a beautiful triangle, one, two, three. Let's continue on, doink, 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 and doink. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. There we have it. Let's make some triangles over here. How are we going to deal with this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Watch what happens. We'll make a triangle here. In fact, why don't we just make the line that goes straight across here to start. So there's our one triangle. I'm a little off on this one. Yeah, well, they are triangles, but they're just a little off. And how many triangles do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Yes, we do have six. Our next question, use rhombus patterns, and that's kind of the diamond shape, uh, blocks to cover each shape below. Draw lines to show where the rhombuses meet, then write how many rhombus pattern blocks it takes to cover each shape. We're looking to cover a shape with rhombuses. So here we go. This is how we do this one. So we're going to go like so. Ready? Hey, there's a rhombus. And look, it's a diamond. If you turn it on this side, it looks like a diamond. And then we go. And we have one, two, three. One, two, three rhombuses. And our next one, how are we going to deal with this one? We're going to try to make three rhombuses. And what I'd like to do is go to the start of this corner here, okay? And we're going to go uh, right to, well, actually to, to, right to, to the center right here. We're going to try to go right there, okay? And then we'll go, and look, we have a diamond. And then where are the other rhombuses? So, well, watch what happens here. Really tricky. Look, diamond shape, diamond shape looks like a little cube. One, two, three rhombuses. Let's see what happens next. Hi. It says uh, the trapezoid pattern blocks, use trapezoid pattern blocks to cover each shape below, draw lines to show where the trapezoids meet, then write how many trapezoid pattern blocks requires to cover each shape. So we're looking at trapezoids. And remember, they're kind of um, two equal sides and two unequal sides. So we're going to write about to the middle here. And we're just going to go kind of copy that line right there. Right? So there's one trapezoid, two trapezoids. And this one, watch what happens here. We just go, hey, two trapezoids. And at this moment in time, I'd like you to take a little stretch break. We're not talking about a five, 10 minute break. Just do some jumping jacks, get a drink of water, use the restroom. We're talking two minutes or so. Because when I have conferences with your parents, they're all like, oh yeah, they say there's breaks all the time. Well, this is a break, but not like a recess break, okay? So, you know, pet the dog, feed the cat, and all that good stuff. We'll see you back for page two of the problem set. 